Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am filming my newborn must-haves. And as you can tell, I have my baby right here. Um, and I was like changing her diaper and she literally started falling asleep. So I didn't even want to move her. I left her here. So she is just going to be here for the rest of the video. Hopefully if she doesn't wake up. Anyway, if you guys want to see what my newborn must-haves are, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to recommend is actually going to be for sleeping. And it's either or. So it's going to either be a gown or a little uh, onesie like this. So the reason I'm recommending these two is because this one has a zipper at the bottom. So I highly, highly recommend getting something that's really easy access. So when you change your diaper in the middle of the night, you're not really trying to wake them up. Um, and so this is great. So the zipper is at the bottom and that way you only zip it halfway up. You can use your diaper without having to completely take this off or put it all the way down and their like, chest is, you know, open. Um, or a gown which i think is actually my favorite um it's literally just like this and then it actually has like the little um things to cover up their hands and then it's really easy just to kind of like get in there change your diaper and then back down so for this one you do have to take their feet out of the little onesie so that kind of sucks but either or um or my favorite for sleeping so yeah so make sure it's just so much easier i know that like you want to put them like really cute stuff but for sleeping trust me you just need one of these you're gonna be sleeping hopefully and then yeah it really doesn't matter what they're wearing um you really want to make sure it's easy access stuff so the next thing i'm going to recommend you guys is this baby what is this called the love to swaddle and it looks just like this you guys this is a life saver so we had a whole bunch of the, the velcro swaddles and she hates them and if you guys notice right now she's swaddled with one of her hand is out and that's the only way that we can swaddle her we cannot put both of her hands in which technically you can do with the velcro ones but we just find that she sleeps very well with this so she wears this every single night so yeah so she loves this thing her hands are kind of just like this the whole time but i think because she doesn't like spaz out because she does spaz out a lot which is weird because she also doesn't like to be completely swaddled so we find that she wakes up a lot if she's not in this but i really only strictly put this on for bedtime so she kind of knows okay you know i'm getting i'm um, in my swaddle that means it's bedtime so um so usually during the day for naps i just do like muslin swaddles um and she sleeps pretty well and i don't mind if she wakes up during the day versus at night i want her to sleep as long as possible because i am trying to get some sleep as well so yeah this is a must must have for me so the next thing i'm going to be recommending are these little onesies that have the hand where i don't know what these are called but basically it's like you just flip it over and you can cover their little hand it's like a sewn in mitten um and the reasons i recommend these is because the mittens themselves will fall off all the time her hands were so small that they would just fall off um and they were just annoying because you can lose them and then you're trying to find where the other one's at so to avoid that completely i would just recommend getting onesies like these they're long sleeves so obviously like it's nice because especially right now for winter but even then like babies just um have a more trouble like keeping up their body temperature so you always want to have them like covered with one more layer than yourself so long sleeves come in handy and then these are just very very practical so yeah i really really like onesies that are like this so the next one is going to be bird claws bird claws that are big um not like really tiny ones because like they're just i don't know i love this because it's like big and it's absorbable that's another thing there's like bird claws that are like a good size but like the material that it's made of it's not even really meant to absorb if that makes sense so she's breastfed so she doesn't actually really like have that much spit up um at the very beginning if you watched my i'm not sure if i mentioned it in my previous video but i did have to supplement her just a little bit because she was uh jaundice so they had me supplementing her with like one ounce of formula so i did notice with formula she did spit up so it was really handy to have these and i actually have them like in her pack and play i have them like in here um in our bedside nursery in her room in her little caddies everywhere just in case um and even if it's not that like even if she just has a little spit like right now she's actually like has a lot of excess saliva i'm not sure if she's teething or it's just like her she's getting hungry but i noticed that she has like a lot of saliva so it's really handy to have these um or even for yourself like if you're breastfeeding sometimes you leak you can use these you know what i mean like these come in very very handy i will go ahead and link these specific ones i got these on amazon and i just really really like them they're inexpensive and they're very absorbent as well Okay, so the next item is kind of like an obvious one, but I did want to mention it, and this is going to be hand sanitizer. So uh, this one has actually been pretty full for a while. I mean, it's like it's halfway used, but I've had it for a long time just because this is the one that I keep in my room, 
and we have a restroom like connected to my room so obviously if i really want my hands to be clean i'd rather just wash them with soap and water versus hand sanitizer but i do also have it in her nursery um she doesn't have we don't have a restroom there so if i need to quickly clean my hands i just use hand sanitizer okay guys so the next item i actually mentioned in one of my previous videos as well and i got it because people recommended it but i'm actually very happy i got it and it's going to be these like little puppy pads these come in in handy trust me just get them i got them honestly like i think like a dollar store and it came with like four or five um and i had like a couple i got like two packs i think i have some in the nursery and i had some in here and they actually came in handy a lot because babies have explosive diapers and they it's just very like all over the place so when she had one of those i would just put one of this down and then like do what we had to do and then just throw this whole thing away um we also have like little changing pads that we use but these were just really, when it was like a really messy situation, these come in handy. So I highly, highly recommend getting some of these and just keeping them next to the changing table or like next to the nursery for like the middle of the night if you need it or something like that. But yeah. So the next one is actually going to be a little nail filer. So this one is the one that I have. These are Frida Baby Nail Frida. I know a lot of you also recommended like electric nail filers for babies and I might end up doing that. But but basically the recommendation is to get something to file their nails. Um and file not an actual nail clipper I, I feel like this is just a little bit more safe like filing their nails versus trying to cut them down um but yeah this is just the one that i use they're just like little mini uh curved nail filers um so yeah you definitely definitely will need these um even if you're using mittens or even if you're using stuff to cover their hands um you eventually obviously are going to take those off and their nails grow fast you guys so trust me you need this you need something to file their nails. So the next must have is going to be a noise maker or something of this sort. So I'm actually recommending this specific one because I do have like another one. But the reason I recommend this one is because it is portable. It just do batteries and that way we can have it. This one stays in her like her car seat, attached to her car seat. Um, but I feel like obviously if you just have the budget to buy one, I would do this one because you can kind of take it anywhere you are whether it's just like here in the room or in the nursery you know um wherever you're at it's really it comes in handy um versus having to get an electrical plug and stuff like that so i recommend this one um i will link this one in the bottom bar i got this on amazon as well the next one is going to be this little mini this is called a what is this called o oogie bear and this is literally for baby's nose trust me when i say that you need this this comes in so handy. I had gotten this again based on recommendations as well um, because this wasn't around for my previous babies and we just used like that nose sucker that they give you at the hospital, which we do have. And I used to swear by it. Like anytime like my friends had babies or something, I'd be like, oh, don't forget the nose sucker that you get or I don't know what it's called that you get in the hospital because there's nothing compared to that one. Like you can buy one at the store and it just doesn't have the same section. We honestly hardly, I think we use that like once this time around or so far because this is just so much more helpful um, because they tend to get just like that one burger that you're trying to get and oh my god, babies hate you poking in their nose. Like they just absolutely hate it and I feel so bad. Usually my husband does it because I just, I don't like making her cry. Um, but this is just a must have, I feel like. Trust me and just get it because it's just so convenient because it gets into like their little nose and i feel like this is tiny enough those freaking bulbs are like so big and their nose are so tiny maybe when they're older it makes sense to get that or when they have like a lot of mucus and you're just trying to suck all that crap out but um when they're little and they have like one little burger stuck in there you don't want to just be putting that thing on their nose like i hate it and i know and i actually haven't i actually have the nose frida as well but i just haven't had to use it because i've just used this the next recommendation is this mommy's bliss gripe water um, disclaimer, ask your pediatrician first before you give your baby anything that's other than breast milk or formula. So just disclaimer. Um, but this worked so well for our baby. Right now we haven't had to give it to her, but literally I want to say like two weeks straight we gave this to her like once a day because she was so fussy and she's just a really gassy baby. Like literally sometimes she like farts and we like look at each other like was that the baby because it's loud and it's a lot so i feel so bad for her because she's so gassy and i'm like trying to watch what i'm eating your baby is very fussy um and you're just like don't know what's wrong like you've already fed your baby you changed your baby you made sure the baby's not cold you burped the baby and you just can't get your baby to calm down it might be because they're very colicky or they have a lot of gas um again just consult with your pediatrician if you're not comfortable um but this does say that it's um you can start giving this at two weeks of age 
Um, and that's exactly when we needed to start using it, actually. It was, like, between two and four weeks that it was just, um, like, she would just get, like, same time every night, like, around 6 to 8 p.m. Like, she was just fussy, and we already knew, like, oh, she's it's starting. And um, when we started giving her this, literally, like, within a minute, I mean, she was calm. And, like, if she was tired, she was knocked out. Like, she could sleep. And it was just like worked mir miracles. So I know that you can actually make your own like natural gripe water. And if that makes you more comfortable, do that. Um, I just found that this one worked very well. And I highly recommend it if your baby is very gassy. Another must have is going to be a swaddle, as you can tell. Um, this is just the one that I have here. Uh, this is a very stretchy swaddle. So make sure you get yourself like a really stretchy and large swaddle because the last thing you want is like one that doesn't stretch and that's like all tiny and your baby is obviously growing a lot within the first few months so if you want it to last you for a long time just go ahead and get the largest swaddles that might be a little bit more pricey um but i find that you're going to probably use them for a longer period of time um so this is just one of our favorites this pack um it's like a three pack and it's like my favorite i use these all the time or this one it's just very stretchy this one's actually like huge um, and I think I mentioned this like in my baby shower haul. Um, this is from like Lulu Company. It's like an Instagram. Uh, I found it on Instagram, but I highly recommend them. And this one is like so cute. I could even use this. Like this is how large it is. And if I really wanted to, I could use this to cover up. Like that's how big it is. Um, and they're so soft. They're very stretchy. But um, anyway, just get yourself a large swaddle. You will need it. Whether to cover up yourself if you're breastfeeding, to sleep, um, to change your diaper. Like, I'll put it down and then I change her diaper. So, just, it's obviously a must-have to have really large swaddles is my recommendation. Alright, guys. And then another thing I'm going to recommend is actually, like, a basket for you to throw in all the clothes that doesn't fit the baby anymore. So, I found, like, having a basket um, to kind of designate, like, clothes that doesn't fit the baby anymore. It's just really easy to throw it in there. Um, so what I'll do is like I'll wash all the clothes and then I'm going through it. I'm like, okay, this didn't fit anymore. Like this is not going to fit her. So I just put it in there. It's already washed. And that way I can just put it in a bag and put it away. Because I found that like, if I didn't do it right away and I put it back up, like I just put it on the side. Then I felt like my husband would go in the nursery and be like, oh, this is right here. Let me just put it on her. And I'm like, no, that didn't fit her. And then she hates being changed. So then like she's screaming her head off because we changed her once and I would just change her again because it doesn't actually fit her. And, whatever get yourself an empty basket and that way you can just kind of um throw stuff that doesn't fit them in there anymore and then either just wash it separately or after you wash it that's what i usually do like i wash it out together and then as i'm putting stuff up i'm like oh this doesn't fit her anymore so i put it in there it's like something simple it's more of a recommendation but um yeah okay so i'm just gonna double check my phone to make sure that i'm not missing stuff because i did write this down Oh yeah, so another recommendation is going to be the draft stain remover. I have it in my restroom, but I'm just going to put a picture of it here. So, okay, with this I find that it works best, or it's actually just going to work in general, if you have like a poopy diaper, that's usually when I use it because she's obviously not eating solids. Um, so like when she has an explosive diaper and her outfit gets dirty, what I do immediately is I go into obviously after she's clean, um, is go into like our restroom and go into our tub and kind of just walk, like um wash it with water and then spray that drafting on and i just leave it i have like a designated little like like little container for that for that clothes specifically like if she has an explosive diaper and i literally will just wet it immediately like try to like, just take it off with water and then i spray it with that draft uh spray and then i just leave it soaking there for like the rest of the day um in that designated container and then i wash it and it takes out the stains like that you have to pretty much do it like within that hour if you want to wait to the end of the day and it's just sitting there with poop and then you try to clean it, it's not going to work. Or if you just throw it in the washer, it's not, I don't think it's going to work. I, I really do think that draft stain remover works. If you use it like pretty immediately and you want to make sure like that the area is not like dry. Like I always wet it first and then I spray it and like every single time I'm sticking out the stain. So trust me, um, there's been like really cute clothes that has been destroyed with her poop and then i use that and it comes right off oh also we actually use this blanket for her uh two week pictures and i'll post one right here and we use it for her to lay on and she literally she was naked for that picture she pooped all over this blanket and i was so sad because again she was only two weeks old she had hardly used it and this is just a really cute blanket um and yeah literally you can't even tell but i mean there was poop all over this and it was like that chunky like 
you don't want to know anyway um so what i did is i can put like i immediately like put water all over it and i was just trying to take like all the poop off and then i sprayed it um a few times and then let it soak there and then i washed it and it, like you can't even tell and if you guys know the thing with baby poop it literally like stains like it stains i don't know what is in that poop but literally it'll stain like an outfit like that so i was like yeah i'm probably not gonna get all of it out but it it came out completely so i'm super happy so that's how i know that thing works so another thing that i do recommend is going to be a bottle sterilizer even though i am breastfeeding i do pump so i need to like sterilize my pump parts and the bottles so the one that i have i'll just link here it was really inexpensive and it's just really easy we just pop it in the microwave it sterilizes it and we just put it in the rack to dry and it's ready to go so i highly highly recommend that one um so another must have for me was the pack and play that we have downstairs so this is kind of more so if you have two floors but because we do it was, I mean, I'm so happy that we got it or it was actually gifted to us, but I'm so happy that we asked for it because um, we like use it all the time. You know, we're downstairs, so we're either like eating or watching a movie and it comes with like a changing station, it comes with the bassinet. Um, and then even if we're doing like tummy time, we just take both of them off and then we just use the actual pack and play itself. And it's like so versatile, you can use it for everything. We have diapers on there, we have extra burp cloths, like, it comes in so much handy and I'm so happy that we got it because I feel like it was like we use it all the time and we're obviously still going to use it. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching it. And if you guys have any recommendations for that helped you or helped your baby, then leave them in the comments down below. Hopefully the comment section is open. For some reason YouTube sometimes disables them um and i have no idea why but if it does do that don't forget to go over to my instagram i will put my name here follow me and then you can put in like any post all my recent posts are pretty much of the baby right now so uh feel free to comment there i do want to do a q a fairly soon if you guys have any questions then you can also send them through my instagram and yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye